Hi, welcome back to another Articat speed bottling tutorial. I've been asked about um, a mosk dome and how do you model this with patterns in 3D. So that's what we do today. I start off with a simple arc and I'm doing it 20 meters and of course we need some reference lines so put one reference line down and I like to um, distribute this now around I need 16 pieces so we go and we uh, rotate distribute 15 of them and make sure you go minus one we don't need to pick that one and we take this all the way around there you go. So now we have our 16 pieces we can work off. The next bit obviously is we take a shell tool, we go to the revolve method and just gotta check quickly. I do a 200 thick, keep that on 90, uh, material, dome material and let's put this on the roofs for now. Okay, so Let's just start and we do one piece here. Okay, so that's our first piece. What we got over here, you know what? I don't really need this, do I? So, my next bit is because I take this as a reference, we see we want to start having some thickness either side of it. So, I actually move this back now you know and just give it a certain thickness if you want to go by angle you do it by angle you can see the angle there or if you want to have a thickness I'll show you what you can do you just take from the reference line and you draw perpendicular to it you know and you just give it a thickness let's just make it for this um, tutorial I will make this um, just 100. Okay, so this, it's a bit hard to see, is 100 here. It's a bit small, let's make it 200. So you just extend it. There you go. So you take this and now you just move this back. See, there's the other point. So, so I got a 200 thickness there. Next step is you um, rotate the copy there to there. Okay, so we got those two pieces ready to go. All right, next one is I need some references now to do my pattern. So I do this with a section. Let's take a section over here and it's important the section has to be perpendicular to the middle of this. So what I mean with this is let's just let's just do this. So we again take make sure we take this exactly right. But this is this is very important here. You have to be very exact. Okay and then from the middle point here it's I like working with reference lines so there you go I just extend that a bit in case I need it oops come on okay so this section has to be exactly parallel to this line so let's let's just drag it there and rotate it oops we have to obviously drag this there that's my mistake so you really have to drag it see that's me got it really exactly have to go exactly there and rotate from here there you go so this this is good this is exactly there and you can see I got this reference line because now I can just drag a little bit outside okay so if I look at this section now oops yeah this one and we open Okay, so what, what, what this is important, this is exactly in the middle here, and that's, that's what I need, because now my next step is 
I need to draw a fill. I actually just do a half fill, you'll see that in a moment. So I'm going down here. Okay. Fill, just that's not important which fill because we will use this just as reference. So start up, and now you have to be again quite exact and go along here. So because this is not an exact arc, you just have to sort of divide it a bit. I probably take about five pieces. So just roughly. You know, you will see. You can have more if you want to. If you feel like you need more. Maybe up here I need a bit more. Let's just finish that off. So then obviously we drag them. You know, as close as possible. Like I said, this is a tutorial. If you need really, really exactly accurate, you just have to add more polygons to it. Okay, see, that's good. Because now I've got this, I can just um, I can just mirror copy. So we just um, mirror copy. There we go. Perfect. Now this is a fill, and what I do is I copy this fill and let's just move it down here. Yeah, a little bit away. Okay. So now to get this pattern in, again it's the tutorial, I just choose a thickness now. What I do is I take a wall. Let's make it 200 thick for now, that's fine. I choose a dome material which is ah there it is um dome one and this one you will see this will go on to cutting elements all right height of the wall not important because what i do is now i start drawing this and let's just take an angle of 20. All right. Next bit is we draw a copy. And we take those and just, you just mirror a copy around. Uh, there. Now, <clears throat> the reason you cannot just go straight up now. I can show you what happens. Let's just say if you think, oh, I can just copy this up and it's great. So, to show you this, drag, agreement, uh, let's just do five for now. See, the problem is if you would just copy this up, see, this looks great, but this is still the same size here, same size here, and if you look closely, they're getting smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller. The same you see that's much smaller and it's getting larger. So how do you do this? I came up with a solution here and I just started to drag copy and I drag it exactly there. Okay, so then do the other side. There. And if you keep going with this now, I could obviously keep going. There's another two pieces already. So let's do a couple more. Okay, and then you go over here and you drag some more. Now you can see what happens when right? this starting to get smaller than this too pretty hard to see what it does do it because obviously if I keep going now okay I'm not going all the way up but you can see now clearly when you get closer to the top that this is much smaller than at the bottom okay now what you have to do this next obviously I need a profile for my profile manager so 
Next bit is you take the fill, just take a different one, it's easier to see. Let's make this one uh, blue. Okay, and all you have to do is now you do a, a space click, you know, and keep clicking into those triangles. Okay, that doesn't take long at all, as you can see. Space click for people that don't know this, I just hold down the space bar. Okay, so, like I said, I don't want to go all the way up. Maybe I should do a reference line so I know what's going on. Let's just finish this off here. Okay, so I'll finish up there, that's fine. So that means this one here, I can drag there and there. All right, cool. Now we um, select all the fills and we we'll take those two away and we mirror a copy. There you go. Beautiful. Now I want to select all the new ones. Now I could go and click again and blah blah blah, but look at this. We go backwards, we go forwards. There you go. They're selected. Copy this and we do a new one. I call this doll. As always, in the tutorials, I put an A in so it's on the top of my list. So you can see that easier. And we paste our first pattern in here. Alright? Great. So, if you now, obviously, we have to apply material, dome material, which I had done one. And wall is fine, I don't need it for anything else. Store the profile. Let's get back. I'll take again a copy of this. Mirror a copy. You know what? I don't want to mirror copy. I want to rotate the copy. So that's what I wanted to do. And extend this. Okay, great. Now we take our dome profile we just created. Again, here, make sure dome and Cutting elements, very important. And we draw our wall. Doesn't matter which way, let's go this way. Oh yeah, of course it matters, I have to go this way. Okay, so let's see what we got for now. All right, as you can see, this is what we have. So let's go a bit further. All I need to do is make sure I'm getting it to cross in there. See? Very easy. And you can see already, people that have watched my tutorials, they can see what I'm doing already. I like to do some solid element operations. So, let's get back in a 3D. And we get the target element. And we... Yeah, gotta get it. Operator subtraction execute. There you go. So now this has been on the cutting element layer. So if we turn this off, there you go. See? It's looking great. Let's get back. So next step obviously is we copy this around. So I select my cutting element plus the dome piece and we just move this around by 16. Now before I do this actually, if you look at this reference image, they got another cut up here. So I like to produce that too because that's why I stopped up here. 
So, we all you have to do is you take a fill and we, for the, again, for the purpose of the tutorial, I, I just obviously, you know, draw by eye. But if you need exact measurements, you just have to work it out. So we're going here. Let's just go here. And there. Actually, what I do is it's much easier. Yeah, no, because now I can uh, mirror this around. Mirror copy. There you go. Look, again, this is just roughly. Um, you know, similar to this one. So let's have a quick look again in 3D. I want to see what's happening here. I'll be much further down. See, you gotta, gotta be careful. I'm much, I think I'm, I'm actually down here. So let's just delete this and remove this down. I can just select this um, shell piece and you do a right click and there it is, create hole in shell. So you click there and all you have to do is, let's go around here. Let's have a quick look. Yeah, there it is. Okay. Now you can still adjust this. This is, this is the nice bit if you want to adjust this. You'll be able to adjust it without any problems. There you go. See, and you have this piece. Alright, if you go back, that's just this piece here. Like I said, this is a tutorial, not exact, but you can see what I mean. To make it a bit more exciting, I will move this up here. Alright, cool. That will do for now. Okay, now we can just simply rotate them around. So let's just select our middle shell here. Now, I'll show you more why I only do the middle one. And it's important the cutting element has to come with us. So let's just rotate. And we've got 16 pieces, so I need another 15. Important is you have to um, put rotate to path and then we start rotating them around. Alright, let's see what we got. Select everything. Oh, that's pretty cool actually. Anyway, so turn the cut and off. And that's what we got so far. Now, what's important is that yeah, I've got I've got two of those pieces here. Don't worry, because what I wanted to show you is if you look at them close, you got a gap in here. See the shadow gap? And I like to actually redo that because if I just take this in the mirror over, it will be too close, and will, there will be no gap in there. So that's why. I, I thought I'd show you this. Let's just, um, what do I have here? See, there you go. On the right model, working. Let's go to export. Yeah, that's cool. All right, so, so you take this, and to get this gap in here, I would just, you know, again, moving a little bit. Okay, now, to do this exactly, I really this time again, I need a piece of, of line. And I just want a small one, let's have a look. But here, that's, I'm in millimeters, so that's 20 mil. If I do 20 mil on either side, you get 40 mil. Four. Let's make it 50. Okay, yeah, this will do. What I do is, um, there you go. So you move this now. It's a bit hard to see, but there it is. Okay, 
and we just rotate the copy for now. Because I don't have to do it with the other side too. So we go here from there to there. And this one. I don't need because now if I now rotate them around then I get this nice shadow lap. This will be much better. So we do the same here. 15 rotate the path. Go from there to there to there. Okay, so let's just select everything like this. Okay, you see, you have a perfect shadow gap here. This will render a lot, lot nicer. Okay, a lot, lot nicer. Next bit is I put a piece on top and we go just open current view setting. Let's have a look. There you go. Right, nice section actually, very nice section. Okay, to add this piece on top here, you know, just something similar to this. I go back down here, because I got sort of a reference here, and all you do is you use your shell, shell tool, construction method, again, revolve. So we just add this here. Just drag that over here, exactly there, and all you have to do is you go to the section, because shells you can, in section you can rotate. Okay, and we drag this up. Okay, so let's have another look at this. As you can see, I added some more modeling. Um, you know, something you don't uh, have to, I don't have to show you, that's just simple walls, windows, stuff you know already. Um, okay, so, but before you go, stay one more minute with me, because this is quite exciting. What I did is, I did some other patterns here, as you can see, and I saved them in my profiler. So let's go into 3D and we go to the working layer and we select our cutting elements. So what you have to do is now, we, some people have seen it in other tutorials before, I can just change now from DOM1 to the next pattern, DOM1, one, one, and all I have to do is hit OK. Archicad will be struggling a little bit to calculate all this. Well, when it's finished, as you can see, it looks pretty, pretty cool. So all I have to do now is go back and turn that layer off, the cutting element layer, because it's all connected. There you go. So you have um, a different pattern on your dome. Okay. This is very exciting and it's, it's great for if you've got clients and you've got different options, you know, it's really easy to do. Let's do it one more time, i got a really nice pattern for the end and then you can go. Alright, cool. Looks actually quite funny if you look at it that way. And let's just have another look. I think this is beautiful pattern, look at that one. Very, very nice. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and as always, um, you'll be back for the next one. Bye for now.